So one of the first things you may notice when you become a Visalis distributor is we tend to have our own, I don't know, jargon uh, inside the Visalis community. We actually call it the vocabulary. <laughs> it's something that as you become a part of the community, you're going to want to pick up and you're going to want to learn. So I'm going to go through the next couple minutes here and just highlight a couple of the important terms that you may start to hear through our videos or through our events so that way you know what the definitions are. Now I'll let you know that most of the vocabulary is defined and outlined in the compensation manual that comes in your distributor kit. So I'm going to highlight a few of them that are on the bottom bottom of this manual. Feel free to reference this video until you understand it or read the definitions inside your manual. First word you want to become familiar with is the term active. Okay? Active is what you must be in order to earn income through the Visalis pay plan. You are active within a calendar month as long as you have at least $125 in auto ship sales or $200 in retail sales. Now that can be a combination between your personal product purchases your retail customers or your preferred or auto ship customers. So you want to make sure that you are active. Now there's different types of people we have within the Visalis community. We have customers that are just people using the products. Customers are different than distributors. Distributors are people that are taking advantage of the income opportunity within Visalis. We also call distributors promoters because they are people that chose to promote the Body by Vi Challenge. Now in customers, we have different types of customers. We have retail customers, which are customers that buy one time, and we have preferred customers. Preferred customers are people that choose to get on our Auto Ship Advantage program. Auto Ship Advantage is a convenience program where someone selects the product they want and the date they want to get it every single month. Our Auto Ship program allows you to select one of three dates. You can pick dates on the 5th, on the 12th, or on the 19th. So you want to make sure you understand what a distributor is, what a customer is, a preferred customer, a retail customer, and what auto ship means. Now in addition to types of people in the community, there's also certain relationships that you'll hear us refer to. One is what we call a sponsor or a sponsor relationship. A sponsor is someone that is directly above you or directly upline to you in the Visalis sponsor tree. Generally, this is the person that referred you to this business or the person that's going to be responsible for helping you get started and achieve success within the program. The line of sponsor relationships is defined as the sponsor tree. Now, in addition to sponsor relationships, we also have enroller relationships. Now, an enroller is generally the person that referred or that prospected or that recruited somebody into the challenge or the Visalis business. In some cases, both the sponsor and the enroller are the same person. Generally, the first three people you enroll, you will also be the sponsor of. However, most people elect, after they've enrolled their first three, to then placement sponsor the rest of their individuals, meaning they will still be the enroller, they're the one that enrolled them into the business, but they placement sponsored those individuals or assigned a different sponsor for help and support within their organization. So you want to make sure you understand the difference between a sponsor and an enroller and the sponsor tree and the enroller tree. This is important when learning our compensation plan because some bonuses follow the sponsor tree relationship, other bonuses follow the enroller tree relationship. Now other words you may catch on to within the Visalis community is how we refer to the structure or both of those trees. Someone that is on your level one is sometimes referred to as a frontline, your level one or your frontline organization. Those are the people you personally have sponsored on your first level. Now when you build an organization, some people refer to that as your downline, meaning your organization from you down in the line of referral. Generally, we tend to stay away from the term downline and we'd rather use the term my team, my organization, my community as they're more friendly terms. Now people above you in the sponsor tree or enroller tree are often referred to as uplines. Again, if you want to stay away from the down or up relationship, a lot of times for our upline we'll use words like support team or mentor team, right? Those are the people that are in your upline. And again, you also have people that what we call our sideline. Those are people that are not in your downline or your upline. They're not in your sales force or your support team, but they're members that are in different sales organizations, also a part of the Visalis community. 
So when you're hearing people refer to downline, upline, or sideline, or their support team, or their you know, sales organization, that is what they mean by those relationships. Now as you start acquiring customers and distributors, you're going to notice we use different volume terms. Okay, There's generally two types of volume we refer to. Bonus volume, in short we call it BV, and qualification volume, which means in short we call it QV. So bonus volume, qualification volume, and they're pretty easy to understand. Bonus volume is volume we use to pay bonuses on, and qualification volume is volume used to qualify toward rank. Now in the Visalis compensation plan, a lot of it is exactly the same, meaning the QV is the same as the BV. For example, if you refer someone to a transformation kit, the BV assigned to that transformation kit is $249, meaning we commission off that $249. The QV assigned to that transformation kit is also $249, which means $249 counts toward you qualifying for rank. In all of the products throughout Visalis, the BV and the QV are the same. In other words, it's dollar for dollar, so it's pretty easy to figure out. The only things where they're not the same is when it comes to executive success systems, which will have a $499 QV, which means $499 counts toward qualifying for rank, but does not have a BV assigned to it because it pays out a different type of bonus called a fast start bonus. First orders placed when someone enrolls also do not have a BV. They'll count as QV, but not a BV because it triggers a different type of bonus called a first order bonus. So keep that in mind. First time orders as well as you know different distributor kits will generally count toward qualifying for rank but not necessarily in bonus volume toward different types of commissions. Now the only other thing when it comes to volume is we may put a word in front of QV or BV. So in other words, if you hear personal qualification volume or personal bonus volume, that'll mean the volume that you personally are responsible for between your orders your retail customers and your preferred customers. So you may see when you look in your Visalis back office a term titled PQV, personal qualification volume, or PBV, personal bonus volume. Keep those in mind as certain ranks and certain bonuses will use those two terms. The other word we may stick in front of volumes is the word group, which stands for group bonus volume or group qualification volume and exactly like you might guess those are volumes added through all of the sales within your group so when you're looking in your, your reports or your sponsor tree now you know what all those acronyms mean bonus volume volume you get bonused on qualification volume volume you use to qualify for rank either personal or group so that's what you want to understand last thing you may see there is sometimes we'll add the word auto ship at the end that just means the volume that is on auto ship like we talked about earlier so I know it's a little bit of jargon it's really not that complicated when you come to understand but you want to know what those volumes mean and now you do now as you get customers and distributors create these sponsor enroller relationships and start adding these type of volumes you're now able to get paid through two pay cycles you'll hear us refer to a weekly pay cycle and a monthly pay cycle. The weekly pay cycle is generally reserved for new customers and new distributors coming within your organization and that is paid out weekly. Our weekly cycle runs Friday through Thursday night at midnight Pacific Standard Time. So your goal is to train your organization to make sure that you get all your orders in before the end of Thursday night so that way it's paid on Monday. Orders in on Friday will we'll go all the way through Thursday night paid the following Monday. That's the weekly pay cycle. Our monthly pay cycle is generally used for team commissions and different monthly bonuses. This adds up all of the volume based on your auto ships and other product sales throughout the month and it's paid the following month on the 15th. So on the 15th of a month that is when our monthly pay cycle pays out. Calendar month ends at the end of the month and is paid out on the 15th. So that's your weekly and your monthly pay cycle. Now as you start to work the pay cycles, you're going to move up in what we call ranks. Ranks are what we call the positions you can achieve throughout the Visalis compensation plan, starting from associate, going all the way to ambassador, then star ambassadors. Those are called ranks. Now in order to achieve ranks, you must be active, like we talked about, and you must start building teams or lines of referral. You'll sometimes hear us refer to them as teams 
or lines of referral, or often you'll hear them called legs. So when we refer to a leg, that means a single line of referral. Now we also use the term qualified leg. A qualified leg allows you to achieve higher ranks in the compensation plan. A qualified leg is any leg or line of referral that has at least $125 in sales or GQV in that leg. That is a qualified leg. Now, in order to hit rank of RD and above, we have what's called a 60% rank criteria. 60% rank criteria means that you can only count up to 60% out of any one leg or line of referral in order to get promoted to a position. So 60% out of whatever that rank requires can come from any single leg. That's the 60% rank criteria. Now, as you start achieving ranks through the Visalis Compensation Program, you'll notice there's a few different types of ranks. You have what we call a high rank, which is the highest rank you've ever achieved within the career path. You have what's called a paid rank, which is the rank you finished last calendar month as. Whatever you finish the calendar month at is what you will be paid as the following month, which is why it's so important to push hard at the end of a calendar month and get your paid rank as high as possible. Last rank is what we call a month to date rank. It'll be abbreviated MTD, month to date rank. This allows you to start the month as the cycle restarts and see as you're moving your way back through the compensation plan what your month to date rank is based on the volume in the system at that point in time. High rank, paid rank, and month to date rank. Those are the different ranks you want to understand when it comes to the vocabulary. And as you start to achieve ranks, you're going to start to be able to earn additional bonuses and be recognized in some of our top production categories. Now, in both of those, you're going to want to learn a different term called open line. Open line means volume or production, open line or outside of anyone else at your same or higher rank. So, for instance, for our production or recognition awards, we count production open line, meaning outside of anybody else at the same rank as you. What's great about the Visalis Compensation Plan is you're able to earn income off people at the same rank or even a higher rank, but for recognition, production, or certain bonuses, we do use the term open line, so you want to understand what those mean. So there you have it. That was a whole lot of jargon, a whole lot of nomenclature, but that is your vocabulary. I promise you, you'll pick it up very, very, very quickly. And generally, the simpler you make your conversation, the better. But I wanted you to at least hear and be introduced to all those definitions, because I'm sure you're going to hear them from your sponsor or your support team, and you're probably going to end up using them when it comes to your sales force and you start achieving your ranks, right? So now you understand the jargon, guys. Hopefully that helps. And again, you can watch this video again to pick it up, or you can refer to the definitions right here in your compensation plan manual. Congratulations. Welcome to Visalis. You now know the vocabulary.